Hi. Hello. It's uh, Saturday and I'm here with my friend Amanda and because she's here I just wanted to do this video um, because she's also into makeup. She just did my makeup and well I did it. She helped me. <laughs> Anyway, um, and so I am going to ask her a few questions about makeup and uh, get her perspective. I don't know why I've been just thinking about these questions about makeup, but I found a couple people to ask. So anyway, I wanted to loop you in on this. So do you want to say anything more about like who you are and... Sure. So I'm... I... Um, as she said, my name is Amanda. I have had a business with Mary Kay for about four years and I've just really enjoyed getting to know um, a lot about skincare and how to take care of your skin, but also having fun with color and makeup and, and how to teach others how to do that. So that's just a little bit more about me. Cool. So I have three questions. Um, and the first one is, what is something easy that someone who doesn't usually wear makeup can do to look polished? I think the biggest thing is taking good care of your skin. If you have, um, if you have a skincare routine where you're taking care of your skin, that's also gonna pay off with your makeup mm -hmm. application. If you start wearing makeup, then you're gonna notice a difference with how it looks. Mm. That's cool, self-care. Yes. It's a thing. Um, okay, so and then this is my I don't know why my deep and burning question is where do you get the colors from to decide on what a person's especially eyeshadow colors, but all of the color colors. Uh, but yeah, it just eyeshadow. Maybe. Okay. Um, I think the first I would just ask questions like uh, what colors are you drawn to? What do you like? Um, wearing and then what kind of look are you going for do you want something that's um, more casual or um, maybe a little bit more uh, bold and then um, and then we would kind of I would probably gravitate more towards the color wheel and just go based off complementary colors as well so it just kind of depends on the look but um, so when you're looking at complementary colors you're looking at the main color of someone's eye yes and you're going across the color wheel yes and what's the effect so that's going to give us the most contrast it's going to make the eye color pop when you okay. have the the opposing color on the color wheel it's going to um just draw it's going to make it appear um more your eye color more intense okay does that make sense perfectly okay, okay. so here's what we do in in style is we go with the skin tone and if you wear the color that is completely opposite of your skin tone on the color wheel that would be your dramatic color and that is the similar mm -hmm. concept um, yes yeah. and also on the color wheel if you didn't want something as bold something to really make I mean you can wear colors that are adjacent to your eye color on the color wheel to um, just be a little more subtle if that's what you're looking for. So, and in, in uh, style, that would be, I just would call it, you're wearing your the anal an analogous color harmony, which is next to a color that's on your body, and then that gives a friendly effect. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so my last question, and then this one might be, I don't know, Kind of hard, but okay. uh, what is something that you see people doing wrong? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think mostly with um, taking care of their skin, forgetting to take off their makeup before mm -hmm. going to bed, or just not not necessarily forgetting, but choosing to leave your makeup on when you go to bed. Um, that's mm -hmm. just something that I hear a lot. I'm tired. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to get up from the couch and go take off my makeup. Um, that's one of the best things that you can do for your skin is to remove, if you are wearing makeup, is to wash your face and take off your makeup at night. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's a good reminder. Yes. And it also ages you if you sleep in your makeup. So a lot of people don't want that. <laughs> yeah. Faster. And then you're Actually, now that I think about it, then your pillowcase would be getting dirty. Yes. That's kind of gross. Yes. 
the news. There's a lot of things, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much no, for uh, this <laughs> and for taking the time to answer questions. And um, I will get a link to your page if you want to share, sure. or if you want, or if you have, I don't know, somewhere that you want people to follow you or sure. find you or whatever, yeah. and put that below this video. And um, have a wonderful Saturday.